Hello, my name is Tim Halp and I'm reading for James Longstreet. The time is May 10th, 1863. The only hope we had was to outgeneral the Federals. Our numbers were less than the Federal forces, whereas our resources were limited while theirs were not. The time had come when it was imperative that the skills of the generals and the strategies and tactics of war take the place of muscle against muscle. We crushed the Yankees once on their land and the war is ours. Why, why attack? Why not let the damn Yankees come to us? We whipped them in Chancellorsville. We whipped them again. And that will end it. At least allow that will employ defensive tactics once in enemy territory. I'll allow that. It's possible. Conditions could not be better. General Lee. All that's left is to maneuver between the Union men and their capital. They'll be forced to, to relinquish their positions and battle in ground that we choose. The enemy is there, and I'm going to attack them there. But sir, we had agreed, had we not, on assuming a defensive position once in ten enemy territory. Besides, attacking that ridge, attacking that ridge would be suicide. If we can, if we can get around the they, Yankees to the south. They are where they come. are, and I'm going to whip them, and they're going to whip me. My scouts tell me the, the way is clear. If we maneuver around Meade, we, we, we can still force him to battle. The enemy is there, and I'm going to strike him there. I want you to attack your entire corpse at the center of the Union line. General... I have been a soldier all my life. I have seen fights by couples, by squads, companies, regiments, divisions, entire armies. I should be to know this as well as anyone. What soldiers can do, and is my opinion, no 15,000 men ever arrayed for battle can take that position. Bring up General Pickett's division and tell him to wait for the signal to attack. 